This story is sponsored by EcoFlow. It was just before dark at the end of our trip when I suddenly turned down a nowhere back road and we ended up surrounded by the best fall color that we had seen thus far. And it's spontaneous moments like this that make autumn foliage hunting so special. up Old Blue on a downpouring October morning and fueled up at the hometown diner before heading west. And by midday, the storm broke and the sun came out, which gave us relief as we only had one night at this place that we had booked on a last minute whim. And while the rain was supposed to continue back home, the Adirondacks had clear skies ahead. Just before we arrived at the treehouse, a side road caught my eye and we pulled in. But we were running behind so we didn't stay long and decided that we'd stop back the next day. A decision that would end up creating a highlight moment of this fall. with enough time to explore the big property before dark. make sure to have a portable power unit with me. This is something I've learned from years of taking these trips and many, many failures. There's nothing like having usable power with you. And EcoFlow just released their River 2. Compared to the old river, this is 30% lighter. When I first picked this up out of the box, I was blown away. I mean, you could easily put this in a backpack, take it with you wherever you need to go. It's made to be portable and it's perfect for these road trips, you know, whether it's just a day trip or a trip like this to an off-grid treehouse that doesn't have any power. I mean, there's no product that could match my lifestyle more than a super small, light, portable power unit that can power lights, it can power my drone batteries, my phone, my camera batteries, everything all at once and last a long time. But don't be fooled, just because it's so small doesn't mean it's not powerful. This can power 80% of your home's appliances. It'll charge zero to 100% in 60 minutes. It's the fastest ever Xtreme technology, and it's the first in the industry to do that. And if you use the 220 watt solar input, you can charge in three hours. I mean, this is unreal. This is legit portable power that you can keep charged sustainably 
on-the-go in realistic scenarios. It has a 6x longer life cycle than the competition. Over 3,000 charges. They've got a fantastic app that make it really easy to use via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So it's got a 256 watt hour capacity. And so when you're keeping it in your home, you can always be prepared for anything that might come your way. You have it just in case. It has up to 1600 watts AC output when you use the X Boost mode. And you'll never have to worry about overloading it with high power appliances. So no matter what, you can ensure that you always have constant power for yourself and your family. So thank you to EcoFlow for supporting this channel and being a part of Trout and Coffee and adding genuine value to my life. Make sure to hit the link below to check out more about the River 2 and the rest of EcoFlow's products. And without further ado, let's get back to the fall foliage. It was nestled on a hillside above the river, and though a lot of the surrounding area were pines, we were smack dab in the middle of a deciduous patch that was in full bloom color. And when we pulled in the driveway, and saw it was covered in Skittles, I knew we were in for a treat. But that was only the beginning of the color we'd end up seeing on this trip. The foliage was a lot further along than back home. With the trees at peak and leaves just beginning to cover the ground, we couldn't have asked for better timing. And while I knew there would be decent color around these parts, we happened to get lucky. And there's no way to pinpoint it like this every time.
And so we settled in, unwound, and continued admiring all the little details around the property, taking bits of inspiration for my own cabin. And though it wasn't yet cold enough for the first frost, the setting sun brought sharp air, and the fire felt heavenly. And so we got the flames roaring as the world turned blue. And the next morning, we woke to the brisk gold of October. It was one of those mornings that was so cold it was hard to get out of bed, but I've never regretted witnessing a sunrise, no matter the circumstances, especially in October.
And so after some back road blend and Allie's famous oatmeal, we made some plans for how we would spend our one full day in the Adirondack Mountains. We had received some advice from the owners of the Airbnb about a couple roads we could take that should be filled with foliage. And we figured we'd use that as the backbone of our day, with a keen eye for sporadic back roads along the way. And Allie found a waterfall that she wanted to check out too. And though our stay here was short, something about having a golden sunset and sunrise made it feel whole. And after topping off the oil in Old Blue, we were back on the hunt for more fall color, starting with the road we had briefly stopped by on the way in. As the leaves fell up and down the road and all around us, we savored this pinnacle autumn moment, as we knew it might not be matched again this season. Onward we went through small New York towns, on our way to the mountains. With one of the highlights being a small diner that served a mighty big burger for cheap and had more homemade pies than I could count on two hands. Look at this little bridge. <laughs> oh, wow.
and while the waterfall ended up being impressive, it was the view through the yellow trees from the far bend that made it unforgettable. And that's why it's important to take your time when you stop at spots like this. Look around and see if there are different vantages and more to explore, because it can completely change your experience. As we continued onward, the color became more and more intense. And it was just before dark when we stumbled on this peaceful back road that brought us directly into the heart of fall. savoring the moment, as before long, these hills would be gray and bare. That's and we drove home with full hearts, as it was early October, and we had already witnessed autumn in all her glory. But this was just the beginning. <laughs> 